Optics Trainer VR features 12 activities, which includes 11 games and one test. As discussed in our vision therapy tutorial video, our VR system is designed specifically to treat strabismus and amblyopia. To view the full tutorial on how to use these features, please refer back to our vision therapy settings tutorial video. All the activities we are going over in this video can utilize all the vision therapy features demonstrated previously. Let's begin with bomb boxing. The objective is to punch the blue bombs with the blue glove and the red bombs with the red glove as quickly as possible. Remember, do not touch the black bombs. The customization parameters in this activity include spawn radius and target lifespan. The easy, medium, and hard settings decrease the amount of time each target is shown. The next activity is Brain Bounce. This is a multiple object tracking activity that uses your peripherals and soft focus. The objective is to follow the green spheres as they bounce around the room. When the objects stop moving, you need to identify the location of the green spheres. Customizations include the number of targets and the speed of the targets. With the easy, medium, and hard settings, increasing the number of spheres you'll need to follow. Next, we have color discrimination. This is a color matching game. The objective is to grab the object in the center with the trigger and match it with the object in the periphery. With the easy, medium, and hard settings, adjusting the number of targets you have to match. Next, we have contrast camouflage. This is a visual discrimination activity where you need to match the center object with the same texture and details as the peripheral objects. Similar to color discrimination, you need to grab the object in the center and then move it to the matching object on the outside. With the easy, medium, and hard settings, adjusting the number of objects you'll have to match. Next, we have the deviation test. This is a baseline test that measures the user's baseline vergence values. You can use this as a tool to see where the user's current fusion ability is. We display a circle and a cross in opposing eyes. The objective is to align the cross so that it is in the center of the circle. Click the touchpad or joystick left, right, up, or down to manipulate the two images until they are aligned. Next, we have Fruit Samurai. This is an eye-hand coordination activity where you use your katanas to chop fruit. The objective is to chop as many fruit as possible and avoid chopping the bombs. The easy, medium, and hard settings will increase the number of fruits that spawn at one time. The next activity is Grid Shooter. This is a visual memory activity. You'll be shown a grid pattern, and using your pellet guns, you'll need to replicate the pattern by shooting the tiles. With the easy, medium, and hard settings, increasing the number of tiles you need to memorize. Next, we have Icebreaker. This is another eye-hand coordination activity. The objective is to hit all the green ice cubes as they spawn out of the ice bath. The better you perform each round, the smaller the ice cubes get. The difficulty settings will decrease the size of the ice cubes. Next, we have Precision Pop. This is a visual discrimination activity where you need to pop all the balloons that match the same symbol orientation as a large balloon image in the back of the room. The more correct balloons you pop, the harder it gets. Balloons will have shorter lifespan. The easy, medium, and hard settings difficulties will decrease the lifespan of each balloon. Next is Ranger. This is an eye-hand coordination activity that simulates shooting a bow and arrow. First, you need to click the trigger to pick up the bow, and with your secondary hand, draw the arrow back and release it to shoot the arrow. Remember, the further you draw back the arrow, the faster and further the arrow will fly. The 
Easy, medium, and hard settings will add smaller targets that are worth more points. Next, we have Star Search. This is a peripheral vision activity. The objective is to gaze at the Earth in the center, and then use your peripheral vision to see the stars. With your right hand, point the beam at the star and click the trigger to collect the stars. The more you get correct, the further the stars appear from the center. Use the easy, medium, and hard settings to start the game with the stars further out. Finally, we have Tappy Bird. This is a depth perception activity. There are two game modes. Odd one out, where you tap the image of the bird that is at a different depth than the rest. And near to far, where you tap the bird in sequence from closest to farthest. You can also customize the distance of the target from the user's face. Anywhere from 1 foot to 10 feet. The default is set at one foot. Thanks for watching our Optics Trainer VR overview video. Like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the new activities and developments.